meet every six weeks in Switzerland. Yes. And they determine what the yes. policy is going to be. But okay? politicians and they, are also and they, involved. And they, and they determine, or uh, they do, exactly what the banks want them to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. okay, really and also, I want to make a comment. One, I, I agree with Dr. Rogers in, in most ways, what he just said. Also, when you said before that without these false price signals, then there would be a productive economy. When you look back to the robber barons of Henry Ford and Rockefeller and these guys, they became extraordinarily rich, but you they should, produced you should, something. You should, no, and using them, and sometimes using the power of government to uh, to go over competitors. Well, it's, though many many of those cases are not truly entrepreneurs. I, I remember that long ago. I mean, there's a lot of protection in the 19th century. No, but that, that point is aside. But the, the well, side, there was, there the, was. The not, not as much as now, but there was. The side effect of what they did was they produced things. Especially for the They fire. produced physical things. He used the, 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 the um, not that. He used the power of government to restrict competition on the rails. That, that Rockefeller's that, financed by the Rothschild. Yeah. They own 82% no, of J.P. Yeah. Morgan. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> all but, one family, man. But what I'm saying is the situation is much more complex to be, um, to be, to, to, for it to rest on the decision of just a few. It has to be a much wider coalition. The coalition includes it's, it's politicians, supranational bureaucrats, uh, high academia, the media, it's, it's, it's a, a much wider coalition. It's been made complex, but the fact of the matter is, those very same people control the media, they control the financial institutions, okay. and they control the educational institutions, and they all work in cahoots Could be. together. Well, the, the message, uh, even if you, what you say is true, it's just a few, the message doesn't change. If citizens get it right, no, uh, that it's not a game that is in their favor, that is uh, against them, um, they could start a movement to reform monetary and banking institutions, which are one of the culprits of this. Yes. In reading um, a lot about uh, <coughs> Keynes lately, I came across a quote, uh, and I, I paraphrase that basically on, on his deathbed, he, he uh, regretted the fact of what has happened as a result of the policies and the way that people have maybe misinterpreted um, yeah, some of his intent to create these problems and, and he gets the blame. Yeah, have you come I, across that? Uh, yeah, th there are many uh, cases of, uh, let's say, redemption uh, in near death. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that, that, that's, yeah. Uh, one, the, the, I'm not a Keynes fan, but one key component was in good times, the governments were supposed to run surpluses to save up to spend. And that exactly hasn't happened in Western democracy. Yes, I agree. But Keynes, yeah. you, have to, uh, you have to look at the cultural environment in, in London. Yeah, you have to, said that a you have, you have to, to look at the cultural environment in London of that time and the circle he was in. So it's a complex issue of why he was so popular. Uh, to be frank, the, the ideas at the moment were progressive, were uh, what they call progressive, which is basically socialist. Um, and uh, yeah, he also said that gold was a, bar, a barbaric relic. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gold is the free market money. <coughs> And as the free market money, uh, it, it, it was arrived not by the decision of one, by a decentralized uh, uh, process uh, and trial and error for centuries. Yeah, and that's why still people turn to gold, like nowadays, when instability uh, is, is uh, looming. Well, he, he lived soon after Dickens, too, didn't he? With Bleak House and uh, all the poverty of the time. Yeah. And socialism has, in fact, been to some extent successful. In oh no, the, 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 that's a, that's a problem. So the mm -hmm. the sell, the sales and marketing force of uh, socialism mm -hmm. is very good uh, at all levels, uh, from the ideas of Gramsci on how to start early uh, to to the uh, utopia that they paint. 
The problem is that there is not a similar uh, marketing and sales force for the system that brought civilization, Western civilization, to this stage. Basically, uh, socialism was blaming free markets and the, the open society, which was what brought Western society to this stage, uh, for all the, the problems, for all the poverty, for all the injustices and so on, when in fact those were a fact of life before. It's not, it's not that uh, uh, the world was rich and then it became poor and then we came out, uh, no, no, we were always poor. Uh, what we need to explain and, and, and know exactly how it came about is wealth, poverty is the rule. So, uh, yeah, I think there is a problem of marketing forces, yes. Uh, I think it's in, in the nature of people who believe in, 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 in free markets and, and individual responsibility. Uh, we don't work together often, so we prefer to cooperate but not work as, as, a, as an army or things like that. Thanks everyone for coming. Also, I'd like to say two things. One, we have an upcoming presentation on November 12th. And that's Richard Eberling, who was the president of FEE, Fee Foundation for Economic Freedom in New York. So he's been around quite a while. Uh, we haven't picked the venue and the type of environment, but November 12th. And also, I see some new faces. If you're not on our email list, give me your email and keep up to date with the events and publications that we have. Thanks, uh, for those who uh, want to learn more about what happened during the crisis from the point of view of the Austrian School of Economics, I suggest that you go to misses.org, M-I-S-E-S, he's uh, the most famous of the second generation Austrian economists, misses.org, M-I-S-E-S. And there, it's a crisis, um, yeah, crisis uh, reader or something like that, and it has lots of articles on on, uh, on this subject.